Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another recruiting news for dummies video. And today we're going to be talking about one of the most dominant defensive players in the class of 2024. And he just committed to play football for South Carolina. Let's get into it. Now, the recruit I am talking about today is none other than five star edge Dylan Stewart. He's 6'5", 135 pounds. He's from the Washington, D.C. area. He attends Friendship Collegiate Academy. He's the number 10 recruit nationally, the number two edge, and the number one recruit coming out of the D.C. area. Now, Dylan just committed to play football for South Carolina. He picked South Carolina over schools like Georgia, Miami, and Ohio State. And the two front runners for a majority of this race was South Carolina and Ohio State going back and forth for who was in the lead for Dylan. He is a big athletic pass rusher with the most comprehensive physical skill set among 2024 edge prospects. Prior to his senior season, he was six foot five, 250 pounds with a 33 and a half inch arm and a 10 and a half inch hand. During his junior year, he gained about 20 pounds of muscle mass. As a rising junior, he ran a 40 yard dash in the 4.6 second range at college camps. Has exceptional mobility for his stature. He flies around the field with a blast that appears on screen. At his high school, he lines up all over the front seven. As a stand up rusher and off ball linebacker, he frequently plays in a two point stance. As a pass rusher, he demonstrates exceptional versatility, dangerous when it comes to stunts and twists, closes rapidly behind the line of scrimmage. Strong finisher in part due to his combination of speed and size. Finished his junior season with 16 sacks, which stacks up on the high end among his peers. We'll need to continue developing to maximize his considerable talent. Friendship Collegiate Academy coach Michael Hunter raves about Dylan Stewart because he can do a little bit of everything. He is someone who does a lot for us, Hunter told the Washington Post. He is a great athlete who can get after the quarterback and also play in coverage. He has a lot of ability and he is only getting started. Now, this is also big news for Ohio State because this is another high rated defensive line player that they have missed out on over the last couple of years. And it isn't like these players are, oh, they have interest in this player or that player had a little bit of interest. No, they were clear leaders and multiple players at the defensive line position and they miss out on them at the last second and then picking other schools for various different reasons. So Ohio State has something uh, to look at on the defensive line recruiting because they're missing out on a lot of big time recruits that they were in the lead for at some point. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching another recruiting news for dummies video. Let me know your thoughts on Dylan heading to South Carolina down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get alerts on every time I post a new video. And I'm out. Peace.